In this lecture, I want to show you how to use Visio for creating a basic flowchart. I've opened Visio, I'm working in Windows, and I'm going to create my basic flowchart. I've selected it, basic flowchart shows up over here, US units, and I'm going to select Create. I recommend strongly that you create your flowchart with outlines initially, because you may move things around as you're working on the logic. Remember that a flowchart is high-level logic. When you're planning a program, you generally don't have to do line for line everything you're going to write in your program. Your flowchart or pseudocode act just like an outline for a paper. When you write an outline for a paper, you have the major topics you're going to cover in that paper. You don't write every single sentence in your outline. That's the same function of your planning tools for a program. To get people used to flowcharting, I like to play with creating a, a flowchart on how to make a peanut butter sandwich. It's a relatively simple process. We can add in a bunch of other things and it'll teach you a bit about how to use Visio, which is the primary goal for today. You always start every program with a start, end, or lozenge shape. You need to be familiar with these names and I will test you based on what they're named here in Visio because you're going to have a quiz. The ones that we'll use in this class are process, subprocess, otherwise known as a predefined process, the start end module, data, and decision. We'll also use an on page reference and an off page re reference. But expect this week that you're going to be quizzed on the names of these symbols. In the start stop, you always put the name of your program. I'm just going to call this PB and J. Now, you would get input typically from a user. If you're getting input, you would ask them a question using data. So I might ask if I was making this for a child, jelly type. And then I would have a decision statement. Type. And I might have a process where here make with grape. or make with strawberry. These are two processes. They're pretty similar, but they're using different inputs. And you notice I'm already having to move things around. So I take my little pointer tool, move it over here, I might want to get inputs so my inputs would be bread so I can actually again and this is why you're planning your logic out here is you can move it around until you are exactly happy with the th way things look. And this is why you do planning at this level. You figure out what order you need to do things in. It's a planning tool. Expect to rearrange and move things. So I select all of my stuff, hopefully. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have to move the bread over. There we go. Now I can select my whole thing here, and I'm using the arrow tools to move it down. line it all up and then we can get into another process I 
actually you should just do spread strawberry jelly on bread. And this does have spell check, which is very handy. It'd be even handier if I could remember the shortcut from my Mac working in Windows to make it work. Spread grape jelly. My next step would be the same for either. Put peanut butter on other slice. Put bread together. And I could go to a much higher level of detail here, but there I'm pretty much done. So I want you guys to practice with Visio, get it installed, you can download it free from MSDN. Or if you're not in the course and you're following this on YouTube, you can get a free trial from Microsoft for 30 days. In the last step, I put connect the lines together, and I always wait till the end to do that. So it all lines up neatly. You want the lines to show the direction of the logic. So when you have a decision symbol like this, it would go to either one. They'd pick one. And regardless of which flavor they pick, they're both going to end up in the same space because you're putting peanut butter on the other side of the bread. Now technically I could have gone further than that. I could have asked them crunchy or smooth, but the process is pretty much the same. When you're handing this in, you should save your file. File. Save. I'm going to call it. I want to put this in my logic folder and I'll just. And instead of drawing one, I want to call it PB and J. And at this point, I will print. And I want to actually print it as a PDF, because that's how I want you to hand in your file. Is the OPB and J is fine. Or I could put in my documents, logic, and save it right there. And when you're handing in your files, you must hand them in on Angel using it is in a PDF format. That's the only thing I'm really going to accept. So make sure that you're not handing in the Visio file. I want it handed in as a PDF. And you should get in that habit because if you're sharing your logic with any customers or any other programmers, pretty much everybody can open a PDF. And that's it.